Hey yo guys, it's Karma and I'm back with another video and today I'm back in Rogue Lineage. I've been playing this game for the past week and I've gained 71 hours on this game. As you guys can see right here, 71 days and I'm at one life currently. Alright, so basically I give up on this life, okay? I give up. I was trying to become a faceless one, but I don't know how. So I'm just going to showcase all of the thief and assassin skills right here some are passive so they're not in the inventory uh but yeah let's get right to it first of all you need a dagger but i just have i just have a bronze one because i just died and i'm not trying to spend 40 on a mithril dagger so i have just a bronze one anyways uh first skill well not first skill like every skill you get is random but uh so yeah first one for the thief you get agility well not first one why do i keep saying first one you get agility you get dagger throw you get trinket steel you get pickpocket and you get lock manipulation trinket steel is broken currently so let's get that out of here so first skill you get agility agility makes you faster your walk speed faster and you attack faster as well just like this blah, 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 blah. It's, it's faster than um the normal one so here's the agility with it and then this is just normal but yeah agility makes your fist or your dagger faster and it makes you faster and then we have dagger throw you throw a dagger just like that and the range is like infinite basically i'd say it's infinite you can throw it from anywhere you can snipe somebody cooldown i'd say like less than 30 seconds pretty good for like tagging people because if you play no2 and you threw a kunai by somebody that puts them in combat same goes with this you throw it right next to them they'll go in combat uh and hitting them obviously makes them go in combat next one we got lock manipulation and uh for this i'll go in this jail cell that he will lock so lock it i'm pressing e i can't get out but if i use lock manipulation click i actually pick lock it and i can open it and go out just like that it's a useful move but you don't got to use it like a lot so usually i keep that in here just whenever i do need it and last for thief is pickpocket pickpocket actually if you go up by somebody that has money like you have to go up on them click you actually steal three silver each time you pickpocket somebody if they have money so if they have two cash they you get two the max is three see just like that i just stole him three times i got nine steal again okay bam just like that but they can hear the sound guys so you have to be careful about that if they hear the sound and they like they're triggered that you stole your money because there are so many people that get triggered when you steal money they will attack you so yes five it's a pretty it's a pretty fun skill to use to get money so yeah those are all the thief skills now on to assassin because once you get all the thief you go here you have to have like 30 kills and stuff but yeah you talk to this guy the assassin guy and he will give you some more skills that cost 85 each and thieves cost 30 if i didn't say but the first one costs 30 85 the the rest costs like 80 for this guy um, but yeah, so we have lethality, triple dagger throw, and bane, and then a cup like I think one or two passive skills. There's either four or five skills, but yeah, I know that they uh, upgrade your agility way faster. Not way faster, but like a little bit faster. And uh, I think that's really it. So maybe four skills. I don't know, but yeah, let's get right to it. Let's get these out of here. So again, uh, they make agility faster for you guys. So that's already one down. Second one we got lethality. This one's a really close range move. You have to get right up on them. It's pretty impractical in an actual fight unless you know how to like use it or how close they are. So you go up close, use it, and it just like teleports you behind them and just does like a combo attack. It's pretty cool. I like the move, but it's pretty impractical in a 1v1 um but yeah it also one shots below 30 percent so if he was 30 percent like 
like maybe 20% and I used it it will like automatically wipe him it will skip the knockout and automatically just destroy you well it'll just it'll put you to pieces you won't you won't even have a chance to get up or anything you just die you lose a life right away so yeah this one you will have to watch out in a, like a friendly 1v1 next one Bane honestly one of the best skills uh, when you use it it lasts for a couple seconds basically it teleports you to the person like mid-range teleport it's just like that you saw that I just teleport to him but yeah I just turned off so if you're if somebody is running away from you or like you're in a 1v1 you just teleport to them like no matter they're like if they're about this range you teleport to them it's pretty cool and I usually use this with agility just pop both at the same time because it enhances the speed of it and enhances like your chance of hitting them and then last skill we have is triple dagger throw which it sounds exactly how it is but this one it the range isn't that far and also you can't throw it anywhere it throws right in front of your character and just straight and it just throws three out in a fan kind of uh, formation and uh, yeah that was really all but if you can hit all of it pretty it does pretty good damage so yeah that was all of dagger I mean that was all of assassin slash thief skills if you guys enjoyed or if this video helped you at all drop a like subscribe you guys are not already and turn on notifications and i'll see you guys in another video peace